So you should tell me at least everything that's happened so that I have a clue and I don't second guess or think for you. A person who's stingy, like, guys. I really need that time for me and also need time to spend with my friends and also without the persons. Hey, yo, what's good with your boy, NCK? And we are back with another video. Man, you know what I'm saying? As you can see by the title, we want to know the red flags. Man, you can date someone but know the red flags. So you're going to find out today what people do actually like. So with that being said, if you are new to my channel, subscribe now. And turn on the bell notification if you don't any new posts. And share this video, like, drop a comment for what you want next. So I will drop it. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, check my Instagram. Follow. Like the video. Like the pictures. And so that's where you're going to know what videos I'm going to be posting next. It's there. It's there. Let's go. So with that being said, share with your crush as always. Share with your homies, to your friends. We're going to share it too, man. Yeah, subscribe, subscribe again, subscribe. You are heading to 300 subs, so why not, man? Why not? They're always up, as I said. So, this is the second video for the week. So, next week, I'll drop another video. Don't miss. Michelle, Brian, Ethan, Ntebo, Tando, Yunela, Ken, Abal, Azaini, Asume, Zisa, Names Lero, Tara, Asa, Asa, Kylie, Ayanda, Mwandi, Eric, Ewai, okay. let's go. So the question today is, what do you guys think are the red flags in a relationship? Yeah, I think when someone is uh, really controlling you, like is toxic, like and then when they get clingy, uh -huh. you know, and I don't like it. I, I think everyone needs some personal space and some everyone need, needs a passion. Um, like for every person is some good price for and um, that they have can have a separate life but like um, have a separate life but a life also together. You know that's no, it's true. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for me it's kind of the same thing. So I think it's a red flag if um, yeah, the boy says you can do uh, things with other people, so if they're so controlling that they want to have all the time just with them. And I, would, I would say the same thing, so for me it's very important to have, also just to have my personal space and my personal time. And if a person is very controlling, I don't think that will work out in the end for me, so I really need that time for me and also need time to spend with my friends and also without the person. So. Yes. Yes. Um, the first one, I think it's a guy who doesn't shave. Hmm? Mm -hmm. We yeah. shave where? Everywhere. Oh. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. It's what's a red flag. You are not afraid of anybody, Abby. Okay. <laughs> I think the second one is a guy who is like, you know, all over the place. Mm. Whatever you go, he's there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't not. like a liar, someone who's inconsistent. Um, and also I prefer guys who open up. Because yeah. yeah, if you don't open up, like, you bottle things up and then it starts to affect your relationship. So, yeah. Um, well, it depends the kind of relationship you're in. But, like, um, I think, obviously, if you're not, like, if the person's not trustworthy, number one. And, like, the red flags are, they don't answer your phone. They're always dilly dallying. They're always yeah. over-explaining. Right. Or, like... When they like go at MIA for a very long time with like no reason, that's tricky. And I'm sure like when you grow older, if the person's gonna send you away with the kids and blah 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 blah, <laughs> you know, you know how it is. It's a bit tricky. Ooh, um, when they are controlling, I feel like that's that's the main thing. Uh, she, she talks about controlling for me i feel like communication when someone does not communicate like yes, that's that's yes. that's where the red flag is for me because i'm someone who wants to know what's going on in your life okay. we're on a journey together 
So you should tell me at least everything that's happened so that I have a clue and I don't second guess or think for you. By the time I start doing that, I start having trust issues and all that. And that's why someone becomes uncontrolled. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a good explanation. In a relationship, is it a long relationship? Like I say, is the girl and boy long together? Yeah, like long or short, any, yeah. I think for me, a red flag, if you're with your girl late out at night and she pick up the phone, but she don't talk in front of you. Oh, or more like she go around the corner to pick oh, up her phone while yeah. going around the corner to speak. <laughs> Okay, for me, in my experience, is I uh, once experienced that I was in a short term relationship. And what happened is we had an open relationship, even our phones. I knew the password of his phone, he knew the password of my phone. But now he began going through my emails, deleting my CV. Uh, Why would he do that? Exactly, <laughs> you understand? Yeah. And um, I came a the same morning I came to the library and when I got here I'm trying to log in it doesn't have a two step verification so I got into the library trying to log into my email and then the password suddenly I'm seeing his numbers and his email and he was trying to like do a password recovery so that he can own but when I checked already he did that after deleting the CV because I was in the library trying to just apply for a job mm -hmm. Or well, guys hating like guys that's the control freak. Control freak. Yeah. Control. Okay, and how would you? A person who's stingy, like guys. I mean, like, is is a stingy being nice, like keeping you for himself? Oh. Okay. Stingy, as stingy in you don't want to spend chile. Oh, there, okay. You know? I thought it was keeping. Okay, no, and how would you? Um, a toxic and possessive guy. Hmm. All right. Like I had one. Uh, it was lack of communication. And uh, perhaps I'll say trust. So, how about you? Uh, secrecy, uh, keeping secrets, and keeping in touch with their exes. Yeah, man. Leave the exes behind. Yeah. Um, yeah, bro, I would say like it's having to see someone better than you, like the, I don't know, sizing sizing people's personalities and mm -hmm. you know like uh, standards yeah more like having to judge a person by saying that okay this one has much more better things than this one so i'd rather go to the person that's oh, yeah, more wrecked yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay um it's when a guy doesn't give much time to a girl yeah. and attention and all the stuff um another thing when a guy goes partying a lot and also knows many girls mm. yeah like she 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 befriends girls yeah. only you see it's a it's a no for me um a girl gives more attention to her friends friend, yeah yeah go how about you male with a lot of female friends um for me personally is a guy asking me nudes on the on the phone ah uh, yeah yeah mm -hmm. how about you too many female friends um, going out all the time for no reason as well. Sure, let's go. So like, uh, you want to drop out your, your, your IG? Shout out your IG. Uh, I, I'm trying to think. Daniela underscore Dankies. underscore Dankies. I don't really have one. Damn, it's crazy. Yeah. But, uh, you mean Gmail? Oh. They say a Gmail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Now you want people all over Gmail. So you can't remember it. Yo, no, uh-uh. Oh, it's alright though, it's alright. Yeah. Get it, get it. So you want to show your IG, your Instagram? Uh, Yanda yeah, Nomafu. Go and do it, double D underscore Z. I also have a YouTube channel, please check it out. Yeah, yeah, see, see. A W A N W D Y. Please check it out. Oh, but sure, you can give me a follow like Kevin M, so Kevin underscore Ndoka. Um, Michelle Williams. That's all. Just, just search Michelle Williams. You'll find it. Let's go. How about you? Uh, he knows Brian. He oh. knows. Like, he knows. Like that's all of it is single. He knows how Brian would be R A Y. Okay. Shoot Instagram. Ethan Freeman. Go and. Uh, add Ntebo <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. But that's that's uh, like you wanna share your Instagram. Though. 
No. I do. It's um the divine underscore Sade. So it's like, do you want to share your Instagram? Um, not really in social media. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, uh, you can just say uh, I am Ken Kalala. Yes. Um. What's it? I think it's like Cabal underscore Bundu. Yeah. Right, sure, sure, sure. it's Meet Asa. Meet Asa. M E E T A Y S S A. Go ahead. Kylie Fire. Right, okay. <laughs> Go. Alright, that's yeah, that's alright. So I'm gonna shout out your IG. My IG is Lira underscore Kipchonian underscore fam. <laughs>